Alright, so load shedding has finally finished at uh, 12 past 2 and uh, we can start the show. Alright. There is a clown on the moon and he smiles down on you. He knows just what to do because he believes in you. So like, how's it bro and welcome to Dee's Corner of Chaos. Where we talk about things like uh, these days and uh, stuff like that. No, I'm kidding. I'm with you guys. Cut that. Hello, everyone, and welcome to these days with me, D H, otherwise known as Damon Harry by my birth name. If that's what you really want to go with, but. As my LinkedIn says, everyone calls me D. So here I am. I'm not actually sure what I'm doing, but I'm going to be doing something. This is the first ever episode. I don't know what it's going to be about. All I know is that I'm going to be discussing uh, things about myself, I guess, just to get things rolling so we can have a bit of introduction between me and uh, wherever the hell you are, because I have no idea who you're going to be at this point. So, uh, what now? But like, D, like, tell us about yourself. Okay, cool. So uh, my name is obviously Damien. Um, but as I've said it before, everyone calls me D. I am first and foremost, I guess, an actor. I'm such a good actor that I pretend I'm not an actor. Because I haven't been in anything really. But you will have seen a lot of my students. If you mention D in most of the South African industry, they'll know about more of me. I've trained a lot of people, I've trained a lot of actors that you can pretty much, like if you'd like to see my student repertoire, all you have to do is switch on any local channel at 7 p.m. and you'll see my students. Like there are a lot of them in films, a lot of them are doing TV series, a lot of them are influencers, but I'm hoping you guys are gonna be in the comments right now. Congratulations. So I might as well give you my bit of a backstory is, so I got to relieved of duty um, for calling my managers You know, there were a whole bunch of things, but I mean, they were, and they were, everyone knew this and, but that's old stories for a whole other time, if you people are interested in here. So as of now, what I'm doing is I am freelancing. This is my documentation of what that journey and process is going to be and whatever it may turn out to be, whatever it may be. I actually have an NQF8. I uh, didn't get quite enough to get my honors, but I did do an NQF8. Right, so I did do four years. I did do a research project, which was actually on um, antigens in the use of trance and therapy. So it's the kind of stuff that you can look forward to on this channel. I uh, worked all over the place. I traveled around the country quite a bit. I backpacked quite a lot. I was homeless for a few stretches. Time, lived in a video store that I worked at. You know, sold coffee at a bus stop. Backpacked around the country. Was a magical little room. What else? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that has happened in a very short space of time. And uh, the past eight years, I have been working at a institution where I was, you know, a lecturer in acting for um, uh, cinema. Uh, there I learned a lot about cinema, I learned a lot about film, I learned a lot about YouTube, I learned about a lot about all these kinds of stuff. And now I am, you know, in a position where you have to kind of do your own thing. And this is me doing my own thing. What's your next question, buddy guy? So, uh, sorry, what? So, so um... Um, so what is it that you do? Uh, so where am I from? I am from all over the place, I guess. My lineage lies in a few places. I've got Irish, Scottish, Portuguese, Afrikaans, Dutch, you know, all these different kinds of things. I'm a proper, like, mixed breed, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so I live in a place called South Africa. Um, if you don't know where that is, please go back to school and get off YouTube. Or, you know, just go to the search bar here and say, uh, where is South Africa? So you can find out. In a place called Johannesburg. It's a lovely, peaceful little city. Yeah, so I've been here for 35 years of my life. And I have, well, I'm okay, not all 35 years. Mostly 35, like 34 and a half, 33 and a half, I don't know, somewhere around there. I traveled around quite a bit and I was in and out a lot. 
And uh, then eventually, you know, I started working at this place and I got really involved in all these things. And then I got like really involved in teaching and really involved in helping people and really involved in seeing all these people become people. So this is what I want to carry on doing, despite the fact that I may not continue to have access to certain facilities and stuff that weren't there in the first place. And uh, what is your lesson for um, today? Lesson. All right. Today's lesson. It's a bit of an introduction, right? Introduction to acting and drama and all this kind of stuff. Why is it important, right? It's acting, it's drama. Like, what does this have to do? Like, it was that subject that the weird kids took at school. But it has a lot more to do with everything in life than we, uh, you know, than we know. And I think we take it for granted. And I hope through these exercises and these videos and stuff that you guys learn to see that it is more than just a thing for dramatic people. So let's look at acting, right? And drama. Where did drama originate from? If you said Greece, well, guess what? <coughs> wrong answer yes that is where the term drama came from the word dran which means to do people back then would go to the teatron the place where things are seen so people would go see the things being done at the place where things to be seen done yeah that's what you know go for a dran at the teatron and you know it's where drama and theater came from but the idea of drama is a lot older let me tell you what right? because drama in its most core essence is simply the ritual Right. Now, what are rituals? Rituals are significant actions and repetitions of actions and scenarios that we do for ourselves that we feel, you know, bring a sense of self-improvement. The Christians, they pray every morning and every day. The Buddhists meditate. The atheists run around looking for answers while the other people just do whatever they usually want to do that are okay. But drama itself and ritual comes from way back in the day, from when we were still getting chased by zebra tigers, city we had fire only. At the end of a long day, our family would gather around. The other communities that we might have picked up along the way would gather around and we would share these stories of our hunts and of these funny moments or even failed hunts or just moments that were more to teach the children how to do these things than they were to as a form of entertainment. So the entertainment value was used to educate. All right now, that's where the real importance in acting and drama actually comes into because acting is not pretending as most people misperceive. Acting, as we like to call it, is reacting. You're not pretending to be someone else. You're imagining yourself in someone else's shoes. That becomes a little bit trickier, doesn't it? Because now you have to imagine their entire life, every scenario, every moment, every single thing that would have affected them and given them a choice or a situation to overcome or to be engulfed by. That is where the essence of acting and its portent lies and how we and use it every day we take it for granted without even knowing every time we say hello every time we brush our teeth eat breakfast all these things stemmed from rituals and all those rituals stemmed from routines that we as a primitive species realized made our society better we realized that if we all ate in the morning together we were happier you know, we could focus, we could share ideas, we would be planned for the rest of the day, we would be well fed, right? making the hunt easier, making us better at it. And then at night, having the rest, the entertainment, the things to look forward to, it was a form of entertainment and release to escape the encroaching dark that came with so much danger. Children were scared. And as a dad myself, I can tell you right now, when kids get scared, you do some crazy shit, man. So, Acting, drama, ritual, all of this stuff is as old as we are, right? It is, as some studies and some believe, what made us who we are, how we got to this point of society and civilization like this, is because as a community, we realized when we shared, we got better, we got stronger, we got smarter, we learned to do things which made us better than our competitors, which is how we pretty much got here, where, you know, actors receive award all right ladies and gentlemen that is it for today's episode of these days so until next time toodaloo